God bless you. I uh, made a business post about uh, yesterday, and I want to read it, and then I'm going to preface it, but I'm going to call this video, Keep Some Skin in the Game. And I wrote, I went into management in two industries in my career. Both times, the overwhelming percentage of the clientele that were coming into the doors were asking for me. I built a, a huge carousel of clients that would come in and ask for me and then refer me to many others. Then came management, which the late Bob Proctor calls the death of all great salespeople. Then came the guaranteed salary, which could have slowed a, a good chunk of, of my initiative. 26 pay periods of so-called salary kills a lot of drive uh, and can lull you to sleep. Uh, I wrote, never forget the grind and how to grind. Don't allow the best of you to go dormant over a title, a desk, and a base salary. Uh, selling is the highest paid profession in the world. The titles and the guaranteed monthly incomes probably had me leaving money on the table. I diverted a massive amount of my time from selling and put a lot of time into management. Managing sometimes, that's an epic fail. I now know that knowing how to hunt for business and how to close business is the most profitable use of my time. Even when you own your own business, don't ever stop selling. Comfort can kill the hunt and the chase in you. Therein lies a fortune that you can miss. Management has cleaner fingernails on a routine basis, but selling in all of the places where you can dirty your fingernails can make you rich. There are some times when six figures can keep us from millions. Uh, and I'm not taking a hit at anybody, but I'm just saying this. Keep some skin in the game. I know that there's no way that you'll ever become uh, the area manager, the vice president of sales, the chief revenue officer, unless you agree to take management uh, seriously. I'm not bashing that. I do think that you should keep your quiver. Never keep some skin in the game. Every now and then, get in front of someone. I know the economics of scale. This, that does say that you, with a sales force of 45,000 people, uh, can get in front of one client. I understand. But never lose your touch. Never lose your ability. Never... Uh, be dishonest when you can't even, that you've learned, forgotten so much about the business because you're so comfortable that you don't even know how to close the people that you're screaming at your sales uh, people for not closing and you can't do it yourself. Keep some skin in the game. Companies go left, companies go go right. They go north, and sure enough, companies go south. You never need to lose the ability to sell. It's amazing, just like Bob Proctor said, so many that were great salespeople, that was killed, that went to the cemetery once you made them a manager. Keep some skin in the game. I'm not throwing anything at auto GMs. Auto GMs. Uh, in a, well, general managers or general sales managers in the automotive lane still have to, in B to C, still every now and then have to get in front of a customer. So I'm saying that these people keep their quivers full and they keep some skin in the game. But it's so dishonest in so many portals of America where you have someone running a huge sales team and they haven't had the experience in that industry in front of a person that your most recent sales trainee has more experience than them. So keep some skin in the game. Be true to what you do. Don't be a motivational speaker without a motivational speaker to your sales, uh, those are under you in sales when you've never really done what you're trying to motivate them to do. Keep some skin in the game. 
I'm not saying that you got to go down there and close the lowliest customer, but stay abreast. Keep your quiver full. Study the craft. Study the trends. Call your salespeople and ask what problems are we experiencing currently at the moment. I know that they got you to watch the CRM. I know that you know all of the CRM metrics, you know all the KPIs, you're keeping up with everything, you know the expenses, but you're going to have to keep some skin in the game. Never allow yourself to get so far away from this process that we call selling that you oversee a large unit and you never do it. It will kill your initiative. Sometimes drive gets killed with a guaranteed income. And I'm not telling you all to go on the front lines tomorrow because wives feel very comfortable with guaranteed salaries. So you finally got mama quiet. Mama's quiet. But always keep some skin in the game. Stay abreast with everything that's happening in your industry. Stay. Uh, you should be able to go in, no matter what tier of the business you are, and go in and help that brand new salesperson on the first day know what he should do. I know they got a manager and that's what you pay that manager for. But every now and then, it's good to see the same principles that go throughout a company. Selling is the highest paid profession in the world. I know the titles and the guaranteed income, uh, they're great to hear. But sometimes the ingenuity that you get when you're trying to build your personal business might help you a tad bit more. Sales sometimes, management lulls you to sleep and kills initiative. And I know in the economics of scale that you can't get to a billion sitting with everybody. It's physically impossible, I understand. But I don't want you to forget how to hunt, how to teach people to hunt, and how to actually do it. If you're not in this position for this company one day soon, you may be in your own, and believe me, even in your own business, even if you got employees, you'll need to know how to sell, and you need to know how to keep some skin in the game. Look, folks, there's a world out there to conquer. It's still out there waiting for people just like you. Keep some skin in the game, and I promise you that when the turns in business come, that you'll be okay no matter what. Have an awesome day.